Today we're gonna to take a quick look at the One X player. This is kind of like a mini gaming PC laptop. And interestingly enough, we just had a similar model in the shop yesterday, and I did a video on that one. I'll put a link in the description below and a card above. But that one was the One GX One Pro model. Again, that's the One GX One Pro, whereas this is the One X player. So they're kind of similar models and brands, but I would imagine that they are direct competitors to one another. And y'all correct, correct me in the comments below if I'm wrong on that. But again, this is going to be on the One X player. And the main difference between them that I see is that the controls for gaming are directly integrated into the casing here on the One X player. Whereas on the One GX One Pro, they were kind of more like Joy-Cons that you could detach and attach, kind of like a Nintendo Switch there. So again, this is the One X player, and let's just jump right into the specs so you can see those right away. And let me push in a little bit tighter so you can get a better view of that. All right, so starting out, this one has the Intel Core i7-1185G7 processor, clocking in at 3.0 gigahertz. It's got 16 gigs of RAM. And then we're gonna go to Device Manager here so you can see the rest. So on the SSD, it's pretty impressive there. You can see it's got a two terabyte SSD from Western Digital. So that's that's pretty big. The one I tested in the other video had a 512. So two terabytes, that's pretty big for an SSD. You can see there it does have the 11th Gen Core i7 like I mentioned. And then let's expand the network adapters so you can see what this one has there. It's got the Intel Wi-Fi 6 AX201 for the Wi-Fi. And then for the display adapters, it's got the Intel Iris XE, so same as the other, the One X, uh, the One GX One Pro. All right, what else? We've got the, you know, basic sound. Okay, how about display resolution? Let's hop over to that so you can see. So on the display resolution, it is 2560 by 1600. So that's pretty high res there. And then as far as the size of the screen, let me pull out the ruler here zoom out so you can see all right so going diagonally from the corner we're looking at about so it's under eight and a half so about i'll say 8.3 8.4 inches is going to be the display size on this particular unit so a little bit bigger than the one gx1 pro model that one i think was uh, right at seven inches there and then let's check what the battery life is showing here so it's at 100 percent. it's showing 17 hours 41 minutes so that's pretty long and, you know, like most of the time I comment on these, it's probably a little bit overly optimistic that it's really going to last 17 hours. But that is what Windows is showing there in the estimate. Uh, nonetheless, I think the battery is appropriately sized for this unit, so you should get plenty of, plenty of battery life on it there. But let's take a look at the rest of the unit there. Uh, for those curious, this one is uh, the screen brightness is at the max right now. It's pretty bright. I would say that you'd have no trouble indoors. Outdoors, it's, I think, gonna, you'll be able to see things, but probably not as well. I do think subjectively that the brightness on this one, on the One X player, is a little bit brighter than the other one we had in the shop, the One GX1 Pro. Just in my subjective opinion, it just seems a little bit brighter a little bit more uh, vibrant here. And I'm not sure if that if that translates on the video or not, but that's my, my opinion. But let me know in the comments if you've had both in your hands and tested both what you think about the brightness and the rest of the specs on this particular system. And I'll just give you a, a look at some of the different ports next and show you around the device. So another feature that's pretty different on this One X player is this keyboard. It's very similar Reminds me to a, of a Microsoft Surface, you know, tablet where it's got the detachable, the keyboard on it. The only thing I will say is it doesn't, the magnets in here don't seem to be as strong. And so as I lift up, you can start to see the keyboard wants to detach. And then if I put just a little bit of pressure, just like that, it's gone. So the magnets could be a little bit stronger in that keyboard. I think, you know, it, it does hold up. You know, you can see there I'm, I'm flopping it, but it doesn't take much pressure before those you know, pins detach and it loses connectivity. But it is pretty cool that they provision a you know, kind of a proprietary connector there uh, for the keyboard. The One GX One Pro, of course, is more like a traditional laptop form factor with a you know, keyboard that's built in It kind of the lid folds on itself. So this one's definitely more, it reminds me of a Nintendo Switch, basically a PC version of that. 
But uh, the keyboard does have a nice feel to it. It's uh, being that this is a larger screen, the keyboard naturally is larger too compared to the seven inch models. And so this one for me, I have pretty big fingers, feels a lot more comfortable uh, typing on. I feel like I could you know, make use of this without my fingers feeling all crammed after a while. So that is one, one big difference of having a, a bigger form factor. Let's take a look at some of the different ports. So on the top of this unit, you've got your headphone jack, just a standard eighth inch jack. Then you've got a USB-C port, USB 3.0, and then the USB-C for the power. And then it also has, I believe that is a micro SD slot, if I'm not mistaken right here. That's what that looks like anyway. So uh, y'all correct me if I'm wrong, but that appears to be a micro SD slot. Then you can see all the different controls there. So you've got, you know, like your RB and your RT on this side and your LB, LT on the opposite, of course. And then you've got your standard X, Y, A, B, very similar to, you know, Xbox, PS4, that kind of thing. And then it's got a couple other little buttons here on the side, uh, top and bottom here as well. So, and then it looks like it's got a, I believe these are where the speakers are perhaps behind these little grills on either side. I'll give you a close up of the other side so you can see that as well. And then on the bottom, it's just the, the little uh, one, five pin connector. Yeah, it's a five pin. So very similar to the Surface tablets. Of course, it's made in China. And it's got some, it looks like some ventilation here along the bottom side, if I'm not mistaken. So that's a nice feature to have. And then as far as the backside goes, more ventilation. It does have this little flap here, which, you know, it's got a, oh, some kind of uh, almost like a break on that, the uh, pivot point there. So it, it, you know, you have to use a little bit of force to push that in. So that way you can choose your angle. Now, for me personally, I found it to be just a little bit on the flimsy side, like maybe that break in there could have been a little bit stronger because it just seemed to fold. You know, I found myself as I was using it here on the table, as I would be tapping one time, it started to tip over and, or that angle kind of, you know, started getting bigger and bigger. So I think based on the weight of this unit, perhaps that break could be just a little bit stronger. Uh, just a minor complaint though. But otherwise, it feels very comfortable in your hands. You know, like I said, I've got pretty large hands and this feels very comfortable in my hands. I don't feel like uh, my fingers will be crammed up after using it a lot. So, all right, let's take a look at what else comes with this particular unit. So this one has the case here. And uh, I, don't, I, can, I don't know what to make of this. This is what was in the box. It's like a red tassel. So, you know, comment, let me know below. What is this? Why did they include this? decorative tassel in a pouch is it just some random item that came from the previous owner or is that standard and what's the significance of it so let me know in the comments but it does have that nice case to, to keep it protected it's kind of a molded case you can see there and then this is the box and packaging that it came in here and let me zoom out so you can get a little better view there a very nice packaging very high quality the way they did this two-tone and the the uh, contrasting red there, ink on it, and did a bunch of different little graphics and icons. Looks very nice. You can see inside it's got, you know, nice foam that's been molded again to shape the item there and has a almost like a velvet uh, fabric in here. So it looks very high quality. Definitely makes it feel like a premium product. And then I'll just go real close so you can see the label on the back there. So again, it is the 1X player. You can see the specific model. There probably are different variants and options you can get. So this is the one with two terabytes and the 11th gen Core i7. So, uh, so look, yeah, it looks like they have a one terabyte and a two terabyte version, at least in this series. So, all right, so that's the label on the back. And then it does have a standard USB-C charger uh, that I won't show you. You've seen those before. So again, this is the One X player. Let me know what you think about this unit from a form factor standpoint and also from the specs that are on the this particular unit. And perhaps if you play games on it or you've owned one for a while, let me know how it stacks up. Did you you know have any problems with overheating, uh, any lagging or anything like that? Let us know in the comments below. Well, I hope that gives you a better idea of the One X Player mini gaming laptop. And for those of you who don't know, J Brokers is a risk-free secondhand marketplace. We buy and sell all kinds of items just like this mini gaming PC, everything from gadgets and guitars to cameras and collectibles. So if you're looking to sell something and you don't wanna mess with the risks and hassles of a site like Craigslist or you know, eBay, and you just want that cash in your pocket, 
then definitely check us out at jbrokers.com. We have over 2,500 products in our database where you can get an instant cash offer, just like these categories you're seeing right here. And so if you've got an Apple iPhone, for instance, you just hop on our website and click on the Apple products, navigate to the iPhones, and you can get an instant cash offer 24-7 from the, the convenience and safety of your home. So definitely check us out. Two things that our customers love about Jay Brokers is, number one, we always pay the agreed upon amount for the agreed upon items. So there's no bait and switch gimmicks ever. And secondly, we always pay our customers on the next business day, rain or shine. So if you're looking to sell something, definitely check us out at jbrokers.com. That's J-A-Y brokers.com. Thanks for watching.